So I, I have been bearish pretty much most of the year. Around January 10th of this year, I recognized that we could be in a prolonged bear market. I have been expecting the price of Bitcoin to hit $5,000 in the middle of the summer. And here we are at the end of October and the price is being kind of stable between 6,000 and 7,000. However, we keep bouncing off the $6,000 level and going up less and less and less. So I think this stability will end soon. It can either break out to the upside or break it down to the downside. I still expect it to break to the downside uh, because bear markets are not this easy and there's really no reason for it other than bitcoin got too expensive too quickly and people are still deleveraging so the only coin that interests me is bitcoin i no no i can uh i i don't really see value in any of the other coins sure you can trade them short term and make money but for me, all of these old coins are the equivalent of penny stocks in a traditional market. So when people ask me, um, what else do I find interesting in the stock market that could be a competitor to Google or Amazon? And my answer is, I really don't. If I was an investor, I would invest in Amazon. I would invest in Google, but I wouldn't invest in an Amazon competitor. I would trade any stock to make more money. So you can go ahead and trade any crypto to make more Bitcoin. But do I see any innovation from anything out there for the long term? And my answer is I don't. I try to ignore Bitcoin Cash. I don't even like calling it Bitcoin Cash. I refer to it as Bcash. It's just another altcoin. It has now been around for over a year and its value continues to depreciate against Bitcoin. Uh, it is now worth less than 7% of a value of a Bitcoin. And I think it is still grossly overpriced. I think it's a terrible scaling solution. It's not even a scaling solution. And it's so much more centralized from the holder's perspective, from the mining perspective, and from the developer perspective. I think believing in Bcash is going to be very financially costly in the future. I don't think banks need an additional scaling solution. I do believe that Bitcoin can scale to the consumer where they can have the best micropayment ever. And in the future, people can use the Bitcoin second layer scaling solution to pay for things even by the second. Uh, watch video by the second if you want to. Pay people by the second if you want to. I believe that the technology will allow Bitcoin to scale almost infinitely. Do banks need it? I don't think so. Do people need it? Perhaps. Uh, just people need to be more patient and allow the smart developers to do it efficiently and safely. I believe that uh, Bitcoin mining has actually been getting decentralized over the last year or so. I believe there's lots of mining competition. Uh, Bitmain is no longer this big dominant force. New chip manufacturers are starting to cut away at that. In addition, I do believe that mining will continue to decentralize. And there are so many misconceptions about mining. People think that a pool is centralizing mining, but it's not. People can choose which pool they're mined with. And there is new code out there that would allow people inside the pool to stay even more decentralized and choose what kind of blocks they are mining in the pool. So I, the, what people refer to as a problematic mining centralization I just don't see it that way. And even if that's true, Bitcoin's mining is more decentralized by factors of thousands than any of its competitors. 
So even if Bitcoin did have centralized mining, it is completely decentralized from the point of view of any competitors. So it is the best solution we have. And when you have something that is the best and only solution, there is really not much point of complaining about it. Hi everyone, my name is Tone Face. I just did a great interview with AMV Crypto. Uh, looking forward to more and thank you so much for interviewing me here at uh, Crypto Exploration. Do not miss out on the latest crypto news. Subscribe to AMB Crypto.